Ames here, the Ames' is Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well today because I have a creative and crafty project to share with you and one that is autumn inspired because in this week's video I'm going to show you the process of making autumn inspired candles to really bring in that coziness and feeling that you get at this time of year. Now I have some new silicone moulds to try out as well as some autumn inspired fragrances and I'm going to combine the two to make these beautiful candles so if you would like to see the process of making autumn inspired candles then let's get crafting. To make your own autumn inspired candles you are going to need some soy pillar wax and this is a wax that will help form the shapes and it's what you also use to make wax melts. You will also need your chosen fragrance oils and I will go through the ones that I have chosen through the video as well as some silicone moulds that can be adapted to candle making, some wicks, wick stabiliser and not forgetting a melting pot to melt the wax in as well as the optional candle die. So the first thing to do is prepare the wax mould. Now some silicone moulds come without a hole for the wick so what you want to do is pierce your own and I'm using just a sharp skewer for this and then threading through that wick. Now this can be a little bit tricky so you might need a wick threader to help with that as well but I didn't have one. And you also want to make sure the wick stabiliser which is just a lollipop stick with a hole down the middle to keep that wick nice and central in that mould. Then it is time to weigh out your wax. Now I am using two different moulds for this batch and that equals 136 grams which is what I am weighing out here and I'll put the calculation on so you can figure out how to work out the amount of wax you need for your moulds. And then I am using the first autumn inspired fragrance oil which is treacle toffee by supplies for candles and I can link down below if you want to try this one out it smells absolutely gorgeous and again I will put on the formula for working out how much fragrance oil you need but I am measuring out 13.6 grams of fragrance oil to add into the wax and this will be a 10% load to that wax then you want to get a pan of water not filling it too far making it a bit of a bain marie style and placing in that wax in a melting pot to allow it to melt down and I'm also using some candle colorant and this is like a wax form one and trying to make a bit of a goldy color to it so I'm just placing these in as well to melt down with that soy wax Once the wax and colourant has fully melted it should reach quite a high temperature so you want to remove it from the heat and then allow it to cool down to 75 degrees and then add in that treacle fragrance oil making sure you get all of that fragrance out of your waiting pot and mixing it in thoroughly. You want the fragrance oil to combine with that melted wax so that you get a really good hot throw whilst the candle is lit but also a cold throw so you can still smell the candle when it is not lit. You then want to allow the wax to cool down to about 60 degrees before you begin pouring it into your mould and then pour it into the mould carefully and slowly. I think I do mine a little bit too fast because if you pour it too fast you can create bubbles in the wax but I will show you how to rectify these towards the end of the video. So yeah, it's just pour that wax into them waiting moulds and then allow the candles to form and harden leaving it about 24 hours before removing Moving them from the mold. Then we're going to move on to the next autumn inspired candle. I am using two molds again for this one and this time they equal 200 grams in weight so that's how much wax and then I am using a white chocolate Christmas cookies fragrance oil which smells absolutely amazing and it smells very similar to a chocolate bath bomb that I made last year so I can link that up above if you want to check that out. But basically we are following the same pattern as before melting it down that wax and this time I am not adding any candle colorant to it but waiting for that 75 degrees before adding in that yummy fragrance oil pouring it in 
stirring it in to make sure it has fully combined allowing the wax to cool down to that 60 degrees once again and pouring it into the waiting mold again leaving these to set up over 24 hours before removing from that mold and then it's time to move on to the final autumn inspired candle for the final candle we are again measuring out that wax and again it is 200 grams worth of wax and it will be 20 grams worth of fragrance oil as well which I think I forgot to mention on the previous one so you always work out 10% of the total amount to work out your amount of fragrance oil and this time it is golden embers and plum and this one smells so nice a bit fruity but also that richness that sort of autumny winter tones bring and I'm also adding in a plum purple colour to give this a bit of a deeper mauve plum maroon colour that you associate with autumn. Again combining that fragrance oil and allowing it to cool down so that we can pour it into the waiting mould and once this has been poured again we're leaving it 24 hours to set up before removing from that mould. So after a few hours the candles should have set up but I like to leave them about 24 hours and as you can see I'm having a bit of problem with a bit of a sinkhole and bubbles so I'm just using a heat gun to gently melt that top layer of wax and this should help fill in that sinkhole nicely as well as loosening off that wick stabilizer which has stuck to the bottom of the candle so if you do experience any bubbling or sinkholes then investing in a heat gun and melting that top layer down again really does help solve these then we're going to allow that wax to reharden before removing them from the moulds and these should slip out fairly easily and hopefully your design has imprinted really well onto the candle to give these quirky little shapes and as you can see a bit of the wick is sticking out the bottom so we're just going to use some scissors and trim this down so that the wick is flush with the bottom of that candle and then the autumn inspired candles are ready to be enjoyed and bring in that cozy autumn vibe I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart what is it that you do My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun we don't care about the other they have the process of making autumn inspired candles to really bring in those cozy vibes at this time of year calls for now these have turned out so much better than i expected this is my first time in using molds to make candles apart from wax melts and yes i think they have turned out so nice they smell delicious and word of warning the sort of food toffee and cookie ones they do make you want to eat it but i wouldn't advise it you know it's not going to taste that nice um but yes if you want to make these candles and remember you do need to use pillar wax rather than container wax but if you do want to make these candles in a container then you would have to use container wax to do so. You can also use this type of wax to make wax melts. So if you wanted to make these as wax melts rather than candles, that is an option as well. But let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments of these candles and whether you'll be giving them a go or if you have any tips and tricks, yeah, tips and tricks of making these candles i would love to know your thoughts so put them in them comments and if you've enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well because that will alert you each time my videos go live i also have a blog ames's antics which is linked down below and up above for you to check out as well because sometimes there's just a little bit more information over on the blogs 
And with that said, I will see you in next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and are able to do something creative and crafty like maybe make your own autumn inspired candles and until the next one, bye and happy crafting! Tomorrow, tomorrow.